yo bosses welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing a set of short press on nails so first thing we need is our stand after that i'm going to go in with my shorties press on nails and i'm going to go ahead and measure them making sure that each nail fits me perfectly from sidewall to sidewall after we have every single nail we're going to go ahead and put them on the stand and i'm going to go in with my um, dehydrator and my primer now you can go in and remove the shine if it just makes you feel a little bit more comfortable but this is what I've been doing lately and I haven't had any issues with the acrylic coming off or anything so I'm literally just doing a coat of primer or dehydrator and primer after that I'm going in with my real nude acrylic and I'm just gonna do a thin coat on all of the nails and basically just trying to make sure that I get a good coverage but that the acrylic is not too thick or too thin and I'm gonna be showing you the nails at a side angle as well as much as I can that way you guys can see how thick I'm actually applying the acrylic but like I said just mainly focusing on getting a nice coverage of the color and then just making sure that the nails still have a little bit of a nice thickness that way it gives the press on nails some strength and they last and they look literally just like acrylic nails once I put them on so for this one I'm just gonna be doing an ombre nail so I went in with my color Blanca at the tip as you guys can see because the nail is so small I do make sure that I work with a little bit of product at a time and now I'm going in and doing my bead closer to the cuticle area placing it down and then patting and very gently blending the two colors right in the middle Alrighty, so now I'm just going in and you guys see how it was a little transparent there so I went in with just a tiny tiny bead just to fill that in and after that I'm just going in with my clear acrylic and just placing that bead closer to the cuticle and brushing it down just to encapsulate the ombre. For the pinky I'm going in with just white and obviously my bid was a little big so that's why I had extra product but just getting that right off and then same thing just making sure that I have a nice coverage and then for the other two nails I'm just gonna end up doing the real nude which as you guys can see the color is absolutely beautiful this is a part of my NC acrylic collection this one and pretty in pink are definitely my all-time favorite colors so if you haven't tried them out be sure to go check them out Alrighty, and then right here I'm gonna be showing you what the nail looks like from the side I really just want to show you guys that the acrylic is not on there super thick It's literally just a nice coat of acrylic that way it gives the nail good strength and that way the nails stay on really really well and then plus as I mentioned just doing the coat of acrylic over the nails just literally makes the nails look like acrylic nails once you apply them off and it's just really nice to have sets like this when I do them because I can just literally if I don't have time to do my nails I can just grab a set of my press on nails that have acrylic on them and they literally look just like acrylic nails so um, next I'm just going in and reshaping the nails just making sure that I'm following the free edge and the sidewalls at exactly a 90 degree angle to get that perfect square shape and remember y'all you can really tell in this video but make sure that you're holding that file literally right against the nail at a 90 degree angle and we're gonna do this on every single nail All 
up next i'm gonna go in and just buff all of the nails really really good and basically what i'm trying to do is just make sure that i smooth out the nails really really good and then also trying to make sure that i basically get this area right here really nice and smooth and really flush that way whenever i apply the nails it looks like the nail is literally coming out of my cuticle area as if they were acrylic nails and so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that on all of the nails and then also i make sure that my free edge is not thick either so i also file towards um the free edge as much as i can and obviously because i didn't apply the acrylic on there super thick i don't have to do too much filing or buffing so now i just went ahead and dust the nails off and then i wiped them off with an alcohol wipe so next we're gonna go in with the art so i'm gonna go ahead and do my nc gel top coat on this one and i'm gonna be doing a little 3d flower now i'm not too experienced when it comes to the 3d art but you guys know that I've been trying and this little flower actually came out not too bad. So I'm going in with the same acrylic which is my Real Nude Acrylic. And I'm using this small number 2 3D nail art brush which is from Amazon. So I'll be sure to leave down below to the, uh, to the brush. I know it comes with a set of about a 5 or 6. I can't remember but I'll be sure to leave the link. As you guys can see, I'm just getting a small bit of acrylic, making sure that I'm not using too much liquid and just placing my bead down and just shaping it or shaping my little petals. I'm just going to do four petals and then I'm going to do one in the middle and then I'm going to go in with some gold caviar right in the center. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like and it actually turned out really pretty but anyways next we're gonna go in and just do a white French tip on the other two nails just making sure that I start my French tip from the side and just going into the center and then of course if I need to go in and do some cleanup I just use my little French brush or my cleanup brush and just go around that small line but other than that same thing starting my line from the side dragging it to the center and then just filling in the tip and of course you can make your tip however wide you want next i'm just going to go in and apply some bling but before i do that i'm going to go ahead and do my top coat and then i'm going in with my hard gel grabbing my stones with my wax pencil and then also add in some caviar and after that we're going to go ahead and do a top coat on all of them and again, I'm using my NC Gel Top Coat, which is absolutely beautiful, and we're going to cure for 60 seconds. So this is what the nails look like after they've been cured. Super, super pretty. And then also, you guys can see the thickness of it. I know a lot of people always ask about that. But I'm going to go ahead and apply them on my nails. So I'm going to be using the sticky tabs since I am going to be taking them right off, but I just want to show you guys how they look like on. And then um, after that, I am going to go in and just apply some cuticle oil. But I know for the sticky tabs, these you can apply your nails using these. They do stay on really well. Um, but these are more for like a one night thing. Maybe you're going out to dinner or something. Just pop these on. But other than that, I do recommend using glue. But now I'm going in with my pineapple cuticle oil. And then we're going to go ahead and just gently massage that in to bring those cuticles back to life. But here is what the nails look like. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know about you guys. But to me, they look like acrylic nails on my nails and not press-ons. So these are my shorty nails. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.